This is the future. the future. Well, good morning guys and welcome back to Minecraft and this is our fortress build part 3 and this is our taverns video or places to sleep. So this is what I've been building in the last two days. So before we start I just want to thank you guys for watching this video and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel and remember to hit that bell icon so that you can get notified of my further uploads. Feel free to check out my updated website and or join my Facebook group to get behind the scenes info. First up, my first attempt at a horse cart. I uh, don't think it looks too bad, but yeah, it's just like an abandoned horse cart right there in the middle of nowhere. We start off with our pub and grill. Look at these endermen. They keep on leaving these sand blocks all over my place. It's time for me to do a little extermination. So here we've got our pub. This is a place where you can just stand, have something to eat, maybe a pub lunch. Or maybe you just want something to drink. This is the place to be. There's some lounges where you can sit and talk. I've got a jukebox here. A collection of CDs or LPs, whatever they will use to on the jukebox to play. I've got a nice big fireplace that could also be used for um, making food. And this is just a nice, I think, atmosphere, a nice spot where you can just have a nice pub uh, experience. Uh, obviously the guy at the counter will be serving the guys from here. So this is what it looks like from behind the counter. Even have a little basin there where you can wash the dishes or the glasses. And yes, this is my pub pot. Then going down to the back, you get the eatery. The eatery was like a big dining hall where large people could sit and eat. So it's like a kitchen with a place to eat. So the eatery is at the bottom. A nice big dining table. You can sit a couple of guys. Um, you've got a lot of furnaces at the back and we've got multiple smokers so we can make a lot of food at the same time So this is a big kitchen This is just for productivity so you can have a lot of people sitting here at the bottom eating So at the top drinking and snacking at the bottom eating And of course no eatery is complete without a pantry So that's something else that I've added is the pantry Afrikaans we call it a sphinx. Here you get uh, some potion bottles, some sweet stuff, some meat, some veggies, some fruits, whatever we need to make food with or stews with is in the pantry. And I just added the potions because you know futuristic, uh, not futuristic but like fairy tale kingdoms, magic, so you might have a potion or two. So if you can't find a doctor or a healer you can come here and at least get some Potion. Maybe it's like uh, energy drinks. Yeah, maybe like uh, something that will give you a boost. Then, going from our uh, tavern, we go to the inn. This inn is built exactly according to the book. This is the first thing that I built, so this is where I started off. So inside, the coloring, the decoration, everything is according to the book. Um, as you guys can see, they use pistons for the tables. It's a bit of an irrita irritation to build with pistons because you have to put redstone switches or uh, torches at the bottom and you have to cover up with the carpets and <sighs> I just went back to my old style of building tables, I'm not happy with the piston thing. Upstairs you just get the places to sleep, so at the bottom you have a couple of guys eating or drinking and then upstairs is obviously your place to sleep. I didn't want to waste space, so I made it like this, so you can have couples sleeping or one guy having a double bed, whatever the case may be. This is where they will sleep. If they are not happy with the accommodation on this side, however, you can always move over to the boarding house. The boarding house is where a lot of travelers get together and they can sleep there. We've got our local well, so this is where these guys can get their water from. 
and I centralize it to make it easier for everyone to get here and get the water. So if that's the inn, then behind me is the boarding house. This is exactly what the book, uh, what it looks like in the book as well. The boarding house I might have changed a little bit. I just added the balconies because it wasn't part of the original design. Uh, let's just quickly fix something here. Okay, that's one. And that's two. Much better. Now at least you know where you are. This place is huge. It's one of the biggest houses I've ever built. So welcome to the boarding house. You have your lounge or your reception area where the guys can sit, relax, talk, listen to some music, um, read some books and just relax while their rooms are getting prepared for them to go upstairs. We have the receptionist down there where um, she can take your name, do your bookings and so on. And then we have 10 rooms available starting from the cheapest to the most expensive. Depending on how many people is going to sleep here, we will obviously charge you more. So let's go up to the first floor. First floor, we have your cheapest area. Um, also, not to waste space, all the rooms have got two beds. Um, so you'll have to share with your friend or share with whoever. Um, and the book also said, in a boarding house, you have to put the most basic necessities down. In other words, a place to store something and a place to sleep. That's it. We don't need any fancy stuff in there, so that's why the rooms are very basic. I added this balcony. It was not part of the design, but I mean, why not? Uh, otherwise, I'm just wasting space. Room 3 is a little bit bigger, so I'm going to charge a little bit more money for that one. Then this side, you can look out over the marketplace. I think this is quite a nice view. The place is just empty. I think at the end of the day, I'm going to do, um, spawn a lot of villagers to live in my, my castle. This room is a bit longer, so depending also on the space I had, I had to lay out the rooms a little bit different. Second floor has got you a bit more lawny rooms or a bit bigger rooms. So I'm going to charge you a little bit more. As you guys can see, there's much more space here. It's a bit more spacious. So also separate beds. And then I do have a double bed option for you. If you are like a married couple, um, there is a room or two here that's got double beds in it. So I am catering for, for families as well. You can maybe put the kids in one room and you and the wife can sleep in another room. But this is basically for, for, for travelers. So I'm not just thinking of merchants. Um, but yeah, so like this is a family room. This is where a uh, husband and wife can sleep together in one room. And then moving up to the third floor, which is the like the penthouse section of the boarding house. Yeah, we've got the more extravagant rooms. So you've got a nice roof design, high roofs. So I didn't put ceilings in the rooms itself because I wanted to keep this high roof. Here you see you've got uh, double beds again with a little bit of a counter. So this will be like, uh, you know, and even paintings. So this is going to be like the uh, ex executive rooms. So you can put it like that. We have more of your expensive customers or, or richer customers staying in. Also across the hallway, we've got a boardroom. So if any of the travelers or business people want to have a place to have a meeting, this is where you'll come to have a quick discussion and meeting. Also notice I didn't put any bathrooms in here. There's also no food places in here or kitchens because I think you have enough places to eat around me. And this of course is the owner's room. This is where I stay or the owner of the place stays. So of course it's going to be Lani now. So, every room is provided with a chamber pot, as this is supposed to be kind of medieval. Um, obviously, there is no toilet. Uh, a very nice view out onto the marketplace again. And of course, then, um, yeah, you, like I said, you've got the chamber pot, no bathrooms, and plenty of places to eat around me. So, this place is just for sleeping, which made me think. The next builds that I'm going to do is going to include a bathhouse, a local bathhouse for men and women where they can go and take a bath to get clean. There will be a stable where the travelers can put their horses and um, also a hospital. 
I haven't added a hospital for if there's people that sick or if soldiers get injured or anything like that. So those are the next up and coming builds. So as the sun is setting, uh, I would like to show you guys what this place looks like now at night. And like I said, I'm going to definitely add um, villagers to the place. Now obviously the bathhouse and the hospital is not part of the original design. It's just something that I think will be nice in a village like this since hygiene wasn't a big thing in the medieval times. But as you guys can see, we're mixing a lot of cultures and a lot of eras all mixed up together in this build. So if you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get notified of the next upload. Because like I said, the next upload is going to have three additional buildings, maybe four. And that will be the end of the business market section. From there on, we're going to go to villagers' houses, the cathedral, which is a massive building, and lastly, the keep. So whatever you guys are doing, remember to keep it safe. And until next time, cheers.